Thanks for tuning into our channel today in this video. It's a couple of recommendations that were published in the June 2021 issue of Annals of Internal Medicine. And what they talked about was some blood pressure recommendations when it comes to kidney disease. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. We provide you with great information that you can incorporate immediately into your health to help support good kidney health. So today's video is some of those recommendations. So uh, this was all related to blood pressure. So they recommended two grams or 2000 milligrams or less of sodium per day. So we talk about a lot about sodium on our channel. We have a lot of videos about it. You can take a look, but salt, sodium, you wanna reduce it. It's the number one thing that, that's standard among all kidney diets and it's universal is lowering salt, lowering sodium is just great for your kidneys. And it's one of the first and basic things you can do. You can look at package labels, uh, don't eat processed foods because processed foods automatically has uh, added sodium to it. So the levels are gonna be higher. So lowering sodium levels. Now with your blood pressure, they do recommend that people not on dialysis target a blood pressure of the systolic blood pressure, which is the top number of 120. Now, this is gonna vary because an older person can actually have a higher blood pressure up to 139 and be okay. And it all depends on your history, your age, um, what's going on with your kidney health, what other, what other medical history you have, like any heart issues. But that's just the general guidelines looking at 120. And in the piece of research I was looking at, it didn't cite the diastolic, the bottom number, but going along with other kidney recommendations, it's 80. So we're looking at 120 over 80, but many people are gonna be higher with kidney disease, and that depends on your lifestyle and your individual health, uh, but you're always trying to target that 120. So if you're 139, um, maybe with some more exercise, lowering salt, you can get that down further. So 120 systolic. And the other thing they mentioned, uh, which was in a synopsis, there was more within the journal articles, but these are the most important points, was 150 minutes of exercise per week to help blood pressure, to help control blood pressure when you have chronic kidney disease and in all stages. And this 150 uh, minutes of exercise per week does depend on your, your limitations because of your health. So if you can only do an hour, that's fine. You don't have to shoot uh, for that 150 minutes. That's assuming that you can, you have medical clearance, you're in good health. So a couple of tips to help. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you have it and to your best kidney health from one kidney survivor thriver to another. Bye.